Now fall is almost here and that means it's time to get prepared for flu season and the best way to protect yourself is with of course a flu shot. I, I realize it's cold and flu season. I went over and hugged somebody. I was about to start talking about the fact that it's cold and flu season and I'm walking over and hugging strangers. You could be filled with the flu for all I know. A tuberculosis scare is unfolding just outside Washington at a high school in Fairfax County, Virginia. Three cases of TB are confirmed and hundreds of students and staff may have been exposed. Recently, there's been an outbreak of Ebola in Guinea. The disease made a leap from remote forested areas of the country to the capital, causing widespread fear. At the time of writing, there were 127 confirmed cases, 87 of whom had died. All right, we're going to get right though to Texas now. Parts of the state are under emergency warning because of a massive outbreak of West Nile virus. Dallas County, in fact, unleashing what you see here, an aerial attack of insecticide overnight to combat the mosquito population there. More than 200 cases of the disease and at least 10 deaths in the Dallas area alone. And For the first time, doctors have tracked the number of illnesses caused by a drug-resistant staph superbug, as it's called, but also goes by the nickname MRSA. Tonight, we have the first local case of a mysterious polio-like illness that's struck 20 children statewide. The latest victim of the paralyzing virus is a two-year-old Ventura County boy. Obviously, what has probably prompted a lot of the antibiotic resistance is the overuse of antibiotics, both in the communities and even in the hospitals. You know, I've always wondered, people who go to the doctor every time they get sick and get antibiotics, are they, are they causing a problem? Are we going to have, you know, all these, these things be resistant to antibiotics? Is she exaggerating or is she She's right? not exaggerating at all. I'm very concerned about this. The real challenge is, what are we going to do about it? The reality is we can't keep up with the bacteria. They're going to change much more rapidly than, the, than we develop new medications at the current pace. We've got uh, stomach churning news from doctors tonight. Some infections are no longer able to be cured by the medicine that we have to treat them. Sheila Gray is here to explain. Jack and Deborah, the problem is antibiotic resistance. About two million people get sick every year from infections which resist these important medicines. About 23,000 people die. So the Centers for Disease Control is calling for action. Researchers say this is mainly because antibiotics are overprescribed. Fox News is always tracking H1N1 and the cases of the H1N1 virus on the rise. The best advice as we wait for the vaccine, of course, has been wash your hands, wash your hands. The flu epidemic on the move this evening, touching every part of this country, even regions that had been spared from the worst of it. The state says the state is dealing with a West Nile epidemic. The scientific criteria for an influenza pandemic have been met. I have therefore decided to raise the level of influenza pandemic alert from phase 5 to phase 6. The world is now at the start of the 2009 influenza pandemic. organization until further notice. The disease has spread worldwide and any survivors must find refuge camp. This is an emergency alert system. Again, this will be the last message from the WHO until further notice.